Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, Moss Crossings. I'm Moss, and today is a super, super exciting day because I've finally finished the DLC, which means that I am now able to redesign my villagers' houses on my own island. So today I'm going to be starting that venture with Audie and Norma. Uh, they live side by side on like the top tier of the town neighborhood. So Audie and Norma both have these round house exteriors, but I decided to replace both of them with square house designs because that to me says more like suburban small town house kind of vibes. I experimented a lot with the exterior of Audie's house before I landed on my final design, but yeah, I decided to go with this like white and orange sort of theme on the outside just because of her being a fox. I thought it was cute. And I ended up going with this light blue customization of the like heart-shaped welcome sign as a tribute to the original blue color of the house. I like to try and carry over a good amount of the villager's original design and like vibe into my redesign. Okay, so the inside of Audie's house. Um, I actually really can't stand the villager interiors that use these like outdoor style wallpapers and floors. I just want the inside of a house to look like the inside of a house personally. Not to be rude if you like them, this is obviously just totally my personal preference, but yeah, I want it to actually look like a house inside as much as possible. So yeah, definitely getting rid of the wallpaper here and uh, same thing in Norma's house when I get to that. But like I said, I do try to carry over some of the things from the original design, so that's why I'm keeping Audie's flooring, and that flooring is going to influence a lot of the color choices that I make here. I think the Moroccan lanterns are such an absolutely gorgeous item, and I love to use them in clusters like this. I think it just looks so cool and elegant. So Audie had some rattan furniture in her original design, so I really just took that and ran with it, but I decided to use the gray variation of the rattan furniture with the green accents. Um, it doesn't really look gray to me, honestly. It looks a little bit more blue to me personally. But yeah, I've never really used this customization of the rattan furniture in builds before, and I sort of liked the idea of challenging myself a little bit to do something I hadn't really done before. I think villager interiors are a great way to experiment with styles that you've never tried or like that don't necessarily align with the rest of your island's aesthetic or whatever because they are like contained within the house and you can really personalize things to each villager without having to worry about like how it goes with anything else. So I think that that's a really fun aspect of redesigning villager homes. I just wanted to mention, like, obviously because the space in a villager home is obviously, like, incredibly limited, I normally wouldn't use a large bed like this, but I really wanted the rattan bed here to go with everything, and also Audie is a luxurious woman, okay? She needs that king-size bed. Thank you. 
Anyway, yeah, the overall vibe that I was feeling for Audi here was that it was like a beachy kind of vintage feeling, small but expensive bungalow type of place. It's pretty different from anything I've really built before. Even in HHP, I feel like I haven't really done much that was with this particular vibe, and definitely not in this small of a space, so it was definitely a fun challenge. Since Audie is a peppy, I figured she likes music. I gave her some audio stuff, like a, a really nice stereo and a record collection, as well as some nice headphones that you'll see later. Clearly I had some trouble getting the armchairs into a position that I liked here, but I always want my villagers to be able to access everything in their own home, like to be able to sit in all of the chairs and use all the appliances, etc. So I didn't want anything to be blocking these armchairs. That's going to be a continuous uh, thing that I try to do in all of these villager home builds.
At this point, I realized I hadn't given her any sort of dining area at all, and there wasn't really room for one. My workaround for that was that I put this TV tray next to the TV, and I just imagine that when she eats her meals, she like takes it out and puts it in front of one of the chairs to sit down and eat. So sometimes you just need a little bit of imagination to make these things work. (laughs) Yeah, so that's all for Audie's house. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think the uh, layout could probably be better, but the overall vibe I'm really pleased with. I think it's a really nice space. And yeah, like I said before, I did end up going back and changing the door to be blue in honor of um, the color that her original exterior was. And here I'm just like trying out a bunch of different blue or blue adjacent doors until I find um, the one that I want. I ended up going with this more turquoise door because that seemed like the closest to her original house color. And now I'm getting started on Norma's house. She also had the round exterior like Audie with the thatch roof, so I'm giving her something a little bit more solid and cottage-like here, but making sure to carry over the soft pink tone of her original design. It's so funny doing this and like taking these round houses and making them into square houses because I feel like I would have done the opposite on my last island. I was really like seeking out villagers who had the round houses on Solaris because it was more of a like futuristic kind of like eco-friendly building style and I just associate that with roundhouses.
With Norma's original house interior, there is honestly not a lot to work with here. Um, the barrel and the butter churn, though, gave me strong, like, cottage vibes. So I really went full force with that theme based on those two items alone. Um, and I did keep the barrel and butter churn in here as a nice carryover from her old design. I did kind of want to use that brick oven that she had originally, but it was way too big to be feasible in this space, so I decided I'm going to try and use it in the, um, the area outside of her house instead. Maybe the cow print is too on the nose, but I think it's really cute and kind of funny, so I'm, I'm not mad at it. Surprisingly enough, Norma is a normal, uh, so I decided she definitely needed some bookshelves in here. I also decided that Norma should have a writing desk. Um, I don't know, it feels like normals tend to be more into like letter writing and journaling and crafts and what have you, so I used an antique bureau here as a desk for her to sit at.
Like I said before, I really want my villager homes to be functional and navigable for the villagers while still also being cute. So I made sure that Norma would be able to sit in all of these chairs and use the kitchen and everything. So I put away one of the ranch chairs that I had at the table because it was just a little bit in the way of getting through the house. I don't, I don't think the villagers can like squeeze past things. But I imagine that when she has company, she just like takes the chair from the desk and puts it at the table, which I can confirm is something I have definitely done while living in a small apartment with not a lot of furniture. <laughs> Since Norma's original house exterior and the one that I've given her is pink and, you know, Norma herself is pink, I figure uh, she's she probably likes pink. So I, I have given her some touches of pink throughout this build, even though overall the design is mostly browns and like natural colors. I still wanted to give a little bit of um, a little bit, bit of those pink touches to it. Just gonna do a quick test here to make sure Norma can access everything. Um, and I, I wanted to say, just so you know, if you don't give your villager a DIY bench when you redesign their house, they will still craft things inside their home. Uh, a bench will just appear in their house and it will replace whatever was there before. And But then when they're no longer crafting, it just goes right back to how it was before and your design will be intact. So just in case anybody was wondering or worried about that, um, I would assume that it's sa the same for the kitchen and cooking, but I haven't tested that because I just give everybody usable kitchens anyway, just for the aesthetic. <laughs> so this is the final product of Norma's build, and I'm incredibly happy with how this turned out, honestly. I think I like this one a little bit more than Audie's, maybe just because it's more to my personal taste. But yeah, I'm really proud of this. <laughs> I really hope Norma likes it. I know she's not a real person, but I, I feel like um, I feel very obligated to make something special for her. <laughs> yeah, so this is the next day and I'm going and showing y'all what the exteriors look like. I am so thrilled with how these look. I, I think that they look great together, but while also still being very individual to each villager. And I, I went in and Norma was here. I talked to her. We had a little conversation and she just looks so at home here. I, I'm so happy with this. <laughs> we're dancing around it was great she was sitting in her chairs just like I wanted her to it was awesome I went and visited Audie next I had to keep closing my game and opening it again to like catch them inside their houses but yeah we also had a nice conversation here she was wearing uh, this excellent outfit with some like dad sunglasses but yeah thank y'all so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed and I will definitely have more similar videos coming soon so like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. I would love to have you here. I hope that y'all have a really good day. Bye-bye.